day to everyone. I'm Matt Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Main Farms. For today's video, we'll talk about our vermi beds under our nipa hut. So let us look at our vermi beds under our nipa hut. This is our nipa hut. And under our nipa hut, you will find two vermi beds. This is vermi bed 2 and vermi bed number 1. So this is vermi bed number one. This is our pre-composting vermi bed. It contains dried cow and carabao manure. We also add banana stalks. Then we wait for it to decompose before we inoculate it with our red wrigglers. The banana stalk serves as a sponge to keep moisture in, but we, we water our vermi beds every day. We make sure that it's moist so it aids in the decomposition before we inoculate it with our red wrigglers. So this is vermi bed number two. Our banana stalks here and our cow manure here have been decomposing for a month. So this is how it will look like. So when you see that it is already black, and rich, we stop watering and this is ready for harvesting. We placed our vermi beds under our nipa hut not only to save space but also to provide cooling during the summer and warmth during the cold weather. Our flooring of our nipa hut is slotted so during the summer the evaporation from our vermi beds will provide cooling and during the cold weather the heat from the compost pile will stabilize the temperature inside our hut. So this is how we harvest our vermicast from under our nipa hut. We use a sieve and a shovel. To separate our vermicast from our worms. It's important that the vermicast is dry so it's easier to sieve it through the mesh. Let's see if we can find worms. So the worms you get from sieving your vermicast can be used to inoculate your other vermi bin. So as you can see, this is pure vermicast from our cow manure, rice straw, and banana stalks. This is now ready to be used in our crops and in our seedlings. So there you have it, our vermi beds under our nipa hut. 
again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about how we make farming easy here at Maine Farms, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Madoda, or add us on Facebook, Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos. I'm trying to farm here.